two. Nos Nagir, ridden by Lorca Moir. Three, Sproston Boy, Seamus McChrystal, claimed seven. Four, No Brizzy and Chumark, claimed seven. Five, Convinced, blinkered for the first time today, Jonathan Lyre rides. Six is Rushmore, ridden by Richard Rowe. Then seven, Brunico, blinkered, Dean Gallagher, claimed to seven. Eight, Insular, Tim Thompson Jones. Then nine, Chasing the Dragon, Simon Sherwood. Eleven, Man of Magic, blinkered, Paul Croucher. Thirteen, Jim Ballou on a hat trick, Ronnie Began riding. Fourteen is Simon Ellsmap, Meningi. Fifteen, Ranala, ridden by Richard Dunwoody. Sixteen, Kappa, ridden by Willie Hames, who claimed to seven. And number seventeen, None Too Dear, visored Wally Irving, claimed to seven. One little bit of overweight, Ranala, one pound overweight. Jim Ballou, the four to one favourite, chasing the dragon on seven to one, together with Nos Nagir. Ranala, 8 to 1. Insula and Nebris and Sproston Boy, all 10 to 1 chances. Convinced is 12 to 1. And Brunico on 14s, together with Kappa, and they go 20s farther. New Zealand has a soft spot for this horse because he enabled her to become the first lady ever to ride a winner at Royal Ascot. Good luck to him. And the 4 to 1 the field. As they come to the first of eight. And Rushmore, who was second in this race in 1984, leads by two to three lengths. To Ranala in second, then Brunico the Grey with Meningi. Trap tracking these is Proston. Boy, they're all over the first. Jimmy Lorenzo just a back marker. And that one comes from some way off the pace. And as they come down towards the second, it's Rushmore who leads. Rushmore leading by a couple of lengths. To Kappa now, who's come through to second. Brunico is third. Meningi four. And then Sproston Boy and Ranala on the inside of these, followed by Kavinsk, Jim Ballou. And in Slew and None Too Dear and Nebris and Man of Magic. And behind these comes Nos Nagir, comes from off the pace too. The back marker is chasing the dragon, but Rushmore leading by a couple of lengths. To Kappa in second, and then jockeying for position behind these, Sproston Boy, Meningi, Ranan has got the inside. Brunico just taking a keen hold on the outer. Tracked by Insula, then comes Kavinsk. Jimbalu races wide of its field. And it'll be interesting to see if that one can keep with the pace when the pace quickens down the back stretch. So far, the pace isn't that strong, but it's Rushmore who leads as they race down towards the back straight. The order as they do so, Rushmore clear by two over Kappa and Sproston Boy and Ranner and Brunico and Insula and Unto Deer. Meningi, Nebris and Convince, their man of magic, followed by Nos Nagir and back to a Jimmy Lorenzo and chasing the dragon. But uh, the cards really yet to be played as they turn into the back straight. Rushmore leading still by that two lengths. Two, Sproston Boy and Kappa and Brunico and Insula, and behind these comes Ranaru and Jim Ballou, followed by Meningi and Nebris and Nantu Deer, convinced Man of Magic. And behind that one races Nostra Gear, Jimmy Lorenzo, and the back marker is chasing the dragon. And they come to the third, and the leaders are over. And it's Rushmore by length to Sproston Boy now, second. Kappa on the inside is third. Brunico four and Ranala five and Insula six and Jim Ballou seven, or at least seventh, sharing fifth. Jumps well there. Insula didn't. Lost a length. Chasing the dragon is last. Insula's dropping its uh, way behind quite a lot of runners now as Rushmore still leads from Sproston Boy. The next. The leader stretched and jumped it well. Chasing the dragon made a mistake at the rear of the field. But it's Rushmore who leads from Sproston Boy. Rushmore just from Sproston Boy. Then behind these comes Ranala and Kappa, Brunico the Grey, Jim Below the favourite in the orange, Nebris is on the right, behind these convinced and Meningi, and behind that one uh, comes Nost again, Insula getting a reminder at the rear of the field and chasing the dragon with a lot to do, but they begin the turn out of the back straight with Rushmore just leading, from Sproston Boy second, the Grey, Brunico is third, Jim Below on the outside of Kappa, Ranali has been in a good position throughout, Nebris pushed along, none too dear is in a good position, but that'll record a personal best if it wins, but it's going well, Meningi behind that. Then comes Nos Nagir in the light blue. Wait for a strong late burst by that one on the inside. Will it get room? They level up for home. Rushmore leads from Sproston Boyan. Behind these comes Ranala under pressure. Then comes Kappa Jimbalo travelling strongly in the orange. Nos Nagir gets a reminder there. None too dear in behind it. And Rushmore is keeping up the gallop as it comes down towards the second last. But Kappa now in the maroon. The split between these is held by Sproston Boy. Three in line. Jimbalo cantering in behind them in four. Met it well and picks up. Nos Nagir looks beaten. Jimmy Lorenzo in the black coming with a run. They race down towards the final flight. Three in line. Sproston Boy. Rushmore on the left, Kappa on the right, Jim Ballou is closing with every stride as they come to it over the last and there it was Sproston Boy who just led Jim Ballou on the stand side, Kappa and Rushmore starts the back pedal and Sproston Boy has it by a length to Kappa, Jim Ballou puts in a power pack finish, Jim Ballou throws the challenge to Sproston Boy, Sproston Boy just holding on, 
Jimbalu is not going to get there. Sproston Boy, Jimbalu is a one-two. Kappa was third, a photo for four between Rushmore and Jimmy Lorenzo. Then none too dear, a gap to Nebris. And behind Nebris came Ranala behind Ranala Man of Magic chasing the dragon. Brudico disappointed, so too did was Dick convinced. Then came Meningi, followed by Nostagir. Insula was last of all. And so the result at 10 to 1, the winner of this William Hill Imperial Cup is number three, Sproston Boy. In the colours of Mr. Jeff uh, Whitting, trained at Newmarket by Paul Calloway and ridden by Stuart McChrystal, his second winner of the season. Second is number 13. That one was Jim Ballou, ridden by Ronnie Began, who came to have every chance at the last and was just outpaced, I think, on the run in, staying on again close home. Third horse home, number 16, Kappa. And what a terrific run that's given. Ballou, the four to one favourite. And third, number 16, Kappa at 16 to 1. Tape returns win £9.80, places £2.80, £1.90, and £4.90. And the dual forecast came to £20 and 80 pence. 15 rounds.